Most NFTs are stupid expensive. If you want to play that latest NFT enabled game, but you don't have that high price asset, what the heck are you going to do? We'll not fork over the cash. That's what. Today I have a solution in my latest Intel report that you have to know about. It's mission time. Welcome back agents, Secret Agent Stash here and we are at GIA Headquarters, the Gaming Intelligence Agency and today we have a special Intel report that is detailing a brand new method that allows you to rent NFTs for games that have high priced items that you can't afford and do it for free. Give us a free. We're going to be taking a look at the Loot Rush platform today and exactly how you can rent your first NFT for free and how you'll be able to actually rent your own NFTs for profit in the near future. Okay, so here we are at the Loot Rush platform. As you can see, you can rent NFTs from tons of popular Web3 games. Axie Infinity, Gods Unchained, Skyweavers, Spider Tanks, Other Side, Undead Blocks, Townstar, The Sandbox. The list just keeps going on and on as you can see. Not all these games are available to rent NFTs just yet, but they are all coming very soon. So make sure you look out for your favorite game hitting the platform immediately. Signing up for the platform is super simple. You don't need a wallet, you don't need to have KYC, you don't need a credit card, nothing. You can get started with all that stuff. It's super simple. You hit the create account. You can get going with your email, your social account, or my preferred method, which actually is connecting your wallet, but it's not necessary. The cool thing about this is you're going to get a $5 sign up bonus, but you're also going to be able to rent your first $100 in NFTs for free. Your thoughts. <laughs> what? Now the kicker here is if you do use a wallet to sign up and it has any kind of game experience on it, right? Like you've used that wallet to play a game in the past, they'll see that and they'll actually up your limits, right? So this it does have limits where you can only rent certain amount of dollar items depending on the status and standing of your account. So if you connect a wallet that has a good standing, you're gonna get the maximum rental limit. Now there is a way of getting around that and that's by using their actual custody wallet they have built into the Loot Rush platform. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So as you can see, all these games have a limit attached to them. You can kind of see here, some of them are $2 limit, $11 min limit for Battlefly. And so this does play into your account and how you get going. Let's go take a look at how you actually rent an asset with my already established account. All right, so now I've logged in and you can see for my first time here, I can rent an NFT for free in 30 seconds or less. So I'm gonna go through the tutorial and just get to renting an NFT. Okay, so here you go. It's going to walk me through this and today I've actually picked something kind of crazy. We're gonna jump into the sandbox as Paris Hilton, going in proper disguise as uh, the, the queen herself and uh, I think this will be a fun one to kind of show you guys exactly how this works. So you can see right now, it's gonna walk me through this tutorial it's saying uh, I can click on any NFT to add to the bag. You can see your limit is the maximum amount you can spend. So you can see that there is a limit. So you can see, we're gonna, I'm gonna roll through this and I'm gonna find one that's a little cooler actually. Three hours later. Who should we be? We got, well, I wanna find like a, I wanna find like a, 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 oh, here we go. We got Paris with bunny ears. Paris with the, with the dress on. Let's go with Paris. Then we're gonna add this one. Let's go with this one. All right, step two, we're gonna open the bag. And then we have the coupon here, right? So that's our free trial. So you can see I'm getting 100% off right now uh, on this, which is usually, I mean, it's only seven and a half cents or so a day to rent this. So super cheap to rent this, right? Super cheap to rent this. I'm getting to rent it for seven days, in seven days. We're gonna hit continue. So here we go. So how does it work? This is what everyone wants to know. So you have your own wallet. It's gonna be delivered to your wallet. Now the trick here with this platform is that it is a trusted platform. What that means is right now, if you are renting from them and you're using your own personal wallet, which I am, they're going to send that NFT to your wallet. Now you say, well, how do they guarantee they're gonna get it back, Stash? They don't, crazy, right? So they're not guaranteed that this is going to actually come back to them. Uh, so there is some risk on their side of this. There's no way for them to really do that without that risk. So that's something you do have to keep in consideration. Now, if you do that and you don't give back one of the NFTs, it's going to ruin your reputation on their platform and you'll never be able to rent uh, with them again, which is why they have some of these, these uh, rental limits in place, right? For people's accounts. So if you wanna be in good standing and get those high dollar NFTs, you're gonna have to you know, keep your nose up on the platform. No funny business. No funny business. This is business. Hey. Uh, but you can see assets will be delivered to your wallet, play unlock more assets in future, return assets on time to avoid suspensions, and then give uh, back to your gaming community, which is kind of cool. So you can see uh, the assets are owned by other games that trust Loot Rush, So, which is interesting. So you gotta understand, 
you are agreeing to their terms and services. It is a trust, it is a trust platform. We're gonna agree to that and go on to the next thing here. And so here, here you go. We talked about this before. Do I want you want delivered to your personal wallet or do you want delivered to the Loot Rush wallet? Now with the Loot Rush wallet, it's their in their in-game or their in-platform wallet. And you can use that for all these these different games. It's a little harder to use if you don't have it already set up, but you don't have any limits with the Loot Rush Wallet, so you can rent unlimited NFTs, and they don't have to worry about, oh, is he gonna give it back, right? Is he gonna give it back? So for this one, we're gonna we're gonna pick our own private wallet, not the Loot Rush Wallet. And it's creating our order. We're gonna be Paris Hilton in the sandbox. Success! <laughs> so there we go. This is our order. Our first rental is completed. Now I could go and rent up to $100 more of NFTs for free right now in this trial. Right here, you can see my rentals. We can go here and we can see exactly what we've rented. We have one Paris Hilton asset. It's waiting for delivery and it'll be up ready up into 24 hours. Now the interesting thing here is that some games, they're ready instantly and you can go in and jump in and others are gonna take a little bit of time to be sent to you. Now it will tell you exactly what that is when you're ordering the asset here. So do keep that in mind that there is up to a 24 hour limit or rate for these assets to get to your wallet for some of them. Now in the future, I will be able to actually list my own NFTs on this platform in the My Listings tab. You can see they're getting ready for this, but those functions are not yet available on the platform. Now, what you're renting from Loot Rush currently, if you see all these games here, is you're actually renting their NFTs from them. So when we talked about this being a trusted platform at the moment, if you are having it deposited into your own account, the Loot Rush team is trusting you with that NFT. All right, let's go take a look at this Paris Hilton NFT and playing it inside the sandbox. Okay, so here we are at the sandbox website and I've loaded up my avatar. And as you can see, I got nothing. I got nothing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our default avatar for the sandbox to the brand new NFT that we just rented from Loot Rush. As you can see, here we go, Paris Hilton, let's go. Boom! I'm Paris now! <laughs> okay, we're gonna equip this avatar and then we're gonna go and we're gonna play. Now, there's a lot of experiences here uh, when you first get to the sandbox and, you know, the thing is there's a mix and match, right? So you have experiences that are created by the sandbox themselves. Then you have experiences that are created from the game maker fund. Those are people who are being paid essentially to create a game because they have a great, uh, you know, experience that they've submitted and then the sandbox funds it. And then you have just people who have decided to make an experience that are not getting funded from the sandbox team and those are UGC types of experiences. You can see we got a lot of stuff going on here and there's been a bunch of, of events and things going. So, some crazy events they've had here. You can see Paris has had a couple events. Uh, the McNuggets land, I thought that was pretty funny. That happened about a month ago. McNuggets land, guys, McNuggets land. I really do like chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets is like my family. So yeah, pretty interesting to see what's going on with uh, with all these, but there are a couple that are special ones that are going on right now. And we're going to actually jump into uh, Lo the Mellow Verse. This is LaMelo Ball's actual sandbox experience here. You can see inspired by the NBA star LaMelo Ball, uh, experience the futuristic metropolis built inside a lunar crater filled with mini games and more. So, you know, once again, you look at uh, something that's important here, right? Rewards only for LaMelo Ball avatar holders, where, you know, a lot of times this could be, oh, rewards for only Paris Hilton avatar holders, right? Which is why having one of these NFTs could be important in the sandbox, and which is yet again, why it could be important to know something like Loot Rush exists. So if you were like, hey, you know what? I just saw this brand new sandbox experience launch. There is a hundred thousand sand pool for people who have that avatar. I don't have the avatar. I'm not going to go buy it, but I still want to get some of that reward pool. Well, you could go rent the NFT for like a month, get all the rewards and then boom, you don't have to worry about buying the NFT itself. So you could actually get rewards by renting these NFTs. And that's the real secret here to utilizing Loot Rush and a platform that actually allows you to rent your NFTs. Let's go play some Meliverse. All right. Here we go. Collect some basketballs. Uh, it's been a lot of strange things happening in the city. People have been reporting usual occurrences. Things have gone missing. That's insane. Nobody really knows for sure. Got a unique energy on court, you know? I, I like the air arena and people get going. I've been told that this energy sometimes attracts. 
unwanted visitors. What, what do I need? What does Paris need to do? Lamelo, Lamelo. What does what? How can Paris help you today? <laughs> All right. So Lamelo Ball wants us to go around and collect forty freaking basketballs. All right, we can do that. Here's one. Well, I can't. Get, I can get over there yet. But look, you can see here we're Paris Hilton. He's hot. That's hot. Now, you know, the funny thing, too, about people that don't know Paris Hilton, you know, she actually got involved in NFTs and crypto pretty early on. And she actually knows what the hell she was talking about. You know, at first, when I saw her kind of jumping into things, I was very skeptical. But she earned, she, earned, she did earn my respect. Now, she definitely didn't have it forever, for a long time, you know? But uh, at least having a little bit of business sense and uh, jumping in. Something like NFTs early and understanding is pretty cool. So you can see, here we go, we're collecting basketballs. Oh, look at this another guy. Where's he going? Follow him. <laughs> he doesn't like being followed. Get back here. Get back here. Paris wants to talk to you, man. Paris wants to talk to you. Get back here. <laughs> oh, look at the hot tub. Ooh, hot tub. Paris likes a hot tub. Oh, it's not a hot tub. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Let's go. Nope, can't make it. Didn't make it. Nope, nope, didn't make it again. Go. Dunk it, Paris. Come on, Paris, dunk it! Go! Oh, no, it didn't work. No basketball. Let's steal it from this guy. Mellow Munchies. That's hilarious. All right, there we go, agents. We jumped inside the sandbox using our brand new NFT that we rented from Loot Rush, and we got to be Paris Hilton! <laughs> So there you go, that is a little quick overview of the Loot Rush platform, exactly how you can get on there, rent NFTs right now for free, if you sign up for a brand new account, and then look for you being able to upload your own NFTs and rent them out there pretty soon. But until then, you can use your NFTs you're renting to go earn some money in the sandbox for some of the upcoming events. All right, agents, that's all we have for today. As always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash. Yeah.